Greetings! Welcome back to the channel Addicted to Geography. In this video, we're gonna do things a little different today, as today we're gonna be learning about some governmental concepts. We're gonna be building our vocabulary and learning some words that are associated or related to the concepts of government. You're gonna look at the screen and the word is going to be scrambled and feel free to pause at any time take as much time as you want and look at letters look at the clue and try to unscramble the letters to figure out which word is being hinted at all right think you can do that all right i know you can do that all right so let's begin first word your clue is this is a law-making branch of government. These are the people in government who make the laws or create the laws. That's right, the legislature. Word number two. This is a government by a head of state who inherits his or her position. So there's usually a king or a queen in this type of government. Yes, you guessed it, monarchy. Next word. This is a system of government in which the decisions are either made by the entire group or representatives who are chosen by the group. This is a government for the people, by the people. I know that clue gave it away. Yes, that's a democracy. Democracy. easiest word these are elected people who make decisions on behalf of the people of the country or a body of people who are in charge of the affairs of the country that's right government This is a government by an elected head of state who is not a monarch. Republic. Yes, man, you're going through these words very quickly. You're a student, man. All right, this is the legal system of courts and judges. In this branch of government, they interpret the laws and they administer justice. The judiciary, judiciary. Next word. This is a system of government in which decisions are made by an individual who has absolute power. This individual is usually known as a dictator. That is correct. Dictatorship. Now these are the group of persons concerned with deciding the goals of a country. 
This is a type of branch that usually contains the prime minister or the president or the premier. Yes, man. The executive. All right, this one you may have to pause for a long time. I know this one is going to be a, a little difficult for you. This one is the right, it literally means the right to vote. It was given to all persons in Jamaica in the year 1944. And in Turks and Caicos, it happened in 1959. Mm, this one is a hard one. I see some of you going on unscramble.com trying to figure it out. <laughs> I don't. I, I, I hope there's a website called unscramble.com. I'm just making stuff up. All right. So this one is called adult suffrage. Yes, it, I know it sounds bad, but it literally means the right to vote. Universal adult suffrage. Word number 10, and the final word. This is a country which is responsible for its own internal and external affairs. Pretty much a country that is running itself, doesn't have to answer to anybody. You didn't figure it out from that clue? Yeah, it's a Destiny Child song. Anyways, this word is independent. Alright, so how many did you get? Did you get all correct? I hope this helped you to improve your vocabulary on governmental concepts. And I hope it also helps you in your classes. So, you can tell your teacher that you found out the meanings of 10 words that are associated with government. You can impress them with this vocabulary. Alright, so until the next video, thank you for watching. Peace. And of course, remember to subscribe that you are notified every time a video drops. And so that you are able to, help to learn more about geography and of course, social studies. Peace.